For PlayStation 2, we have Aether SX2. Now, you don't want to use the Play Store version. We need to use version 3668, which is the last version before the developer added ads. Head to the Aether SX2 link in my description and download and install the APK, then open the app. Click next, read everything if you want, and then click next. Expand to cutout area if you want and set the screen orientation to landscape. As well as change the upscale if you want, and then next. Leave it as optimal, safe defaults. And now we want to import the BIOS for this. So click import BIOS and point it to your BIOS file for PS2. Then select it with the radio button and choose next. Now click the plus icon and navigate to where you have your PS2 ROM stored. Click next and finish. Now let's head to the menu top left, then app settings. Head to the achievements tab and you can log in with retro achievements here. And honestly, that's about it settings wise. Back to the main menu, top left, and this time go to controller settings. Under touchscreen, controller view, select none to remove touch controls. Now go to port one and we can map our controller. Then go down the list and map your controls. Pay attention to the name instead of the picture as you might confuse yourself if you're not familiar with a PS2 controller. You can skip analog toggle, and you can stop at right stick being the last thing to map. Now swipe all the way to hotkeys. Let's map a few. I like toggle fast forward as L3, and then mapping the pause button as start and select, or whatever you prefer. Feel free to look at all the options and map any hotkeys you want. Let's back all the way to the game list and start a game. And there we go everything should be working perfectly. Last thing to show, if you open the pause menu that we hotkeyed, look at the top right and you'll see some icons. This is the same as Duck Station from before. Now, this is important. If you click the I icon, you can adjust settings for this specific game only. So create per game profiles. But if you click the settings cog, you can change settings for all games. So just keep that in mind, nice spot to make per game changes if you want. Lastly, if you want to move save data and other data between two devices with Aether SX2, or if you want to back up your data, go to the menu and click transfer data, and now you can import or export. If you export, create a folder somewhere and export, and you'll see it gives you an option of what to export, and those files will show in that directory.